Texas A&M football has a ton of hype for the 2022 season, and with their loaded freshman recruiting class combined with some veterans on the roster, it looked like it was going to happen. It probably will still happen, but one of the Aggies' top players is in some pretty hot water right now. In case you haven't heard, their star wide receiver slash playmaker Anaya Smith has recently been arrested, and right now there is a lot of talk about what is going on, what will happen to him, and how this could affect the season. In today's video, I want to do my best to clear up the situation as we're first going to talk about who Anaya Smith is, talk about the alleged incident that is going on, my thoughts on what's going on, and what could happen in the future. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started and talk about Anaya Smith. There are a couple question marks going into the 2022 season for the Texas A&M Aggies, and that includes the quarterback position. LSU transfer Max Johnson is probably going to be the starter, but you cannot count out Haynes King, who started the first game and a half of last year before he suffered a injury that held him out for the remainder of the season. It's going to come down to those two, but overall, having a good running game and two speedy stars in the backfield were really going to help the Aggies transition. Those two guys were Devon A-Chain and Anaya Smith. Both of them have blazing speed and are two weapons out of the backfield that were going to make a huge difference. Smith plays on special teams, is a running back, and a receiver, so he does a little bit of everything. It has pretty much always been that way, as while Anaya Smith was at Dole's High School in Sugarland, Texas, he was one of the top athletes in the state. As a senior, he ran for nearly 500 yards and 10 touchdowns, and also had over 700 yards receiving with 10 touchdowns. He did pretty much a little bit of everything, as he also played on special teams and played on defense. Because of that, Smith was a big time recruit and decided to commit to Texas A&M. No, he was not the most highly rated dude in the class, but he was a three-star athlete with a ton of upside. When Smith arrived at A&M, he had an immediate impact. As a true freshman, he caught 22 passes for 248 yards and three touchdowns. That's why many were excited to see what he could do in 2020, and he definitely builds upon that. He finished with 43 catches for a career-high 564 yards and six touchdowns. Him and Jalen Weidermeyer were the top two options in the passing game, and in 2021, that was going to be the same storyline. How did he do? Well, he did catch more passes as he finished with 47 receptions, but his yards dropped and his touchdowns remained the same. Smith was the kind of guy that did a little bit of everything, and he even had his first career punt return touchdown in 2021. Going into the 2022 season, Devon A. Chain has gotten a ton of hype for the NFL Draft, but Jimbo Fisher came out and said that Anaya Smith's stock was going to explode. I have to agree with him, and with all the talent on the roster, it looked like Smith was finally going to be one of the main guys, and his NFL stock was going to go through the ceiling. Except, now I don't even know if he's going to be a member of the team going into this year. A couple days ago, it came to the surface that Smith got into some trouble. So what ended up happening? According to a Houston newspaper, they wrote, quote, Texas A&M receiver Anaya Smith was arrested early Wednesday on charges of driving while intoxicated, unlawful carrying of a weapon, and possession of less than two ounces of marijuana. He was arrested by A&M police and was booked into the county jail. He posted an $8,000 bond and was released later Wednesday, according to the jail's reports. From there, it looked like he had been suspended from the football team and that Jimbo Fisher was made aware of the situation. It's interesting timing because Smith was supposed to be at SEC Media Days, but obviously he was not, and Jimbo Fisher said there was no comment on the situation. For a little while, many speculated that Smith would be kicked off the team and that there was no way he'd be playing or suiting up for the Aggies this fall. Except, today we got an update. This is Friday, July 22nd, so if you're watching this at a later time, I just got this news today. Thankfully, I have a good friend by the name of Andrew who lives and breathes Aggie football, so he let me know about this earlier today as he sent me a couple of tweets about the situation and it looks like there's a chance that Smith could play and that some of these charges could be dropped. For example, let's take a look at Carl Dukes on Twitter. Apparently, he has a show on CBS Sports Radio, so I feel like he's somewhat credible in this situation. He said, quote, I was told by sources close to the case that are indicating that all charges will be dismissed. Smith was not intoxicated, and the passenger has claimed ownership of the marijuana. Now let's talk about what Mark Berman said. He's a sports director at a local television station, and according to his tweet, he said that the attorney for Anaya Smith claims that his client is an innocent man. I'll go ahead and put the tweet up so you can read it yourself, but basically, it is saying what we are hearing is that he was not intoxicated and that the other person in the car was in possession of the marijuana. 
let's say that both of those charges are dropped. That means this whole situation is not a very big deal for Anias. He'll likely be reinstated and he'll get to play football come fall Saturdays. That's what I think the most likely scenario is going to be, and I really do hope the best for Anias. I'm glad that no one was really hurt in this situation, and hopefully all the details come out soon. If you're a Texas A&M fan though, let me know what you think. What do you think is going to happen in this situation? If Anaya Smith does end up getting kicked off the team or suspended, who will step up for the Aggies? And how do you guys think the Aggies will do in 2022? Be sure to let me know down below. Let me know another topic or subject I could do in my next video. Hit that like button if you want to support today's video. Subscribe if you're new. And check out all my other videos on the end screen, including my video about what happened to Jalen Weidermeyer. Hope to see you guys again soon. But until next time, peace. Mm -hmm.